This is Casey Kasem. Welcome to American Top 40 and our regular countdown of this week's best-selling single records in the USA. Six brand new songs on American Top 40 this week, and a lot of them rock out. We're going to rock out to begin with with Johnny Rivers and his latest called Get Off My Blue Suede Shoes. Billboard's number 40. Well, it's a one for money, two for the show. Ready to get ready now. Nile Rogers told us the only thing that got them through the first few songs was the professionalism of everyone involved. And as respect grew between the singers and their producers, the girls realized that the problem had been created by their record company, not Rogers and Edwards. And the ice melted. Well, that album has sold over a million copies. And one of those songs, conceived in hostility and born in harmony, is the 13th biggest single in the nation this week and the biggest mover within the countdown. Here's Sister Sledge. American Top 40, this is Casey Kasem. The countdown rolls on with Bobby Vinton and Every Day of My Life. Number 29. Every day. the first chart appearance by a newcomer from Santa Monica, California, who likes to cruise around town in a 1957 yellow and black Lincoln when she can find the gas for it. Up 13 big notches to number 22, Ricky Lee Jones and Chucky's In Love. Listening to a countdown of the most popular songs in the USA on AT40. I'm Casey Kasem, and the countdown continues. Number nine. Yvonne Elliman first started hitting the charts seven years ago, but she isn't getting older, she's getting better. Her latest single is the biggest hit of her career, and it moves into the top ten this week to number nine. If I can't have you, Yvonne Elliman.
number 14 this week, the latest hit single by the British superstar whose record company in England released it only because he insisted. The song was to be released in a forthcoming LP, Don't Shoot Me, I'm Only the Piano Player. Well, his record company refused to put out the single because they felt it would take away some album sales. There was a big argument, but a big star carries a lot of weight, and the singer used it. And the single was released. The album, which came out a few weeks later, made number one on both the British and the American charts. And now, at number 14 this week, here's the single that Elton John's British record company didn't want to release. By the way, the hottest record within the top 40 this week, moving up 11 notches. Here's Daniel. the third consecutive week while disco sets the tempo for the nation the most popular song in the country is a love ballad at number one on american top 40 here are peaches and herb and reunited For the third consecutive week on American Top 40, Peaches and Herb and Reunited. You just heard the 40 most popular records determined by Billboard magazine for the week ending May 19, 1979. American Top 40 is produced in Hollywood by Watermark Incorporated. Executive producer Tom Rounds. Producer Don Bassani. I'm Casey Casey. Join me again next week for our countdown of the 40 biggest hits in the USA. Till then, keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And keep your radio tuned right where it is.